Black Panther is a world leader. That's a responsibility that, that other superheroes don't commonly have. That he has to look out for an entire nation. Soon, there will only be the conquered and the conquerors. The Dora Milaje are women who pledged their lives to the throne and to the security of the kingdom. Wakanda forever! My character, Okoye, is the general of the armed forces as a whole. Okoye represents the old guard and tradition, while my character, Nakia, challenges tradition. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Nakia was born to be a warrior. She was born with a warrior spirit. I got into a disagreement. Made a bit of a mess. Training was very, very interesting. The Dora have a way of fighting that was supposed to be inspired by moving as one. The Dora work together to take down somebody, like the fight we have with Killmonger. Step into the spotlight. <laughs> Actions there. It's not your typical film. It's raw. It's real. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Daniel Rapp's production today. So you are bringing him a lot of phones. I love that t-shirts everybody's getting. It's so yeah, cool. Yeah, sick, isn't it? It's I'll the Golden State it. colors. Um, and then oh, we want to buy that too. <laughs> you can't buy it exclusively. <laughs> you have to be on this job since November. <laughs> you better earn that. So you got to turn back time. <laughs> What's my relation? Yeah. I watch cartoons as a kid. I watch a lot of cartoons. Spider Man, man, that was my shit. And then, uh, that was my shit, man, I can't even lie. Uh, and then, um, and then, yeah, I didn't really, I couldn't afford comics. My mum didn't have the budget, uh, comic budget. Uh, so I kind of just was just like from afar, and I really loved the, that world and the universe. And, and then I started watching the movies. I think it was more Avengers. I kind of got in from Avengers on, and I was like, oh, this is fucking jokes. I loved the Hulk as a kid, actually. I thought the Hulk was amazing. Um, but yeah, and then no, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. First Iron Man blew my mind. The first Iron Man blew my mind, and I was like, "Yo, Robert Downey." Because obviously I was like, "Ah, oh, every." No, I shouldn't say that. I'm not gonna say that. But obviously, like Robert Downey Jr., I was like, "Yo, what's gonna happen?" Yeah. And then he just knocked it out of the park, and 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 that film was just a really impressive film. And then it just, I was really invested after that. So skin psychopath. You're English. I am English. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm going tomorrow. Snap. Um, so, again, Psycho Bill, like, now this, talk to me about that journey, that's pretty uh, What, from skins to ear? Where you go, skin, Psycho Bill, you know, Richard, um, Robert Webb, all of that, and then kind of actually get out, and this, that's quite a mad journey. Yeah, it is. I'm starting to realise how crazy. When did I have a realisation? When did I have a realisation? When we did the press picture, we did the press picture the other day. It's like I was there, and Angela was there, Forrest was there, Chad was there, Lapete was there, Denai, Tish, Mike, and I was like, oh, I'm in this film. Like, I don't know how I got it. That's, that's, that was the one in the moment I was like, right, but then obviously my entry level was just, I just, the work I did back home, the short films I did back home, Ryan saw it. So I got cast in this in the summer. Last summer I was doing a play, so he was just saw my shorts, saw stuff that I did, and then, so it wasn't even, it was just kind of organic because like Ryan's part of that universe of like people that that he knows a couple of people in London that directors that I've worked with in X Y Z. So um, it's been it's been it's surreal, but it's not surreal. It's kind of like you're just doing it. I think when it's out, then you. But it's more about kind of like being on set of this and going. I've never seen anything like this. Kind of how I felt at Skins. Kind of felt on Get Out. Kind of how I felt on a lot of these jobs. And you know that that special thing where it's like. This is, if, if, my thing is if one person sees it, they have to tell at least like 10 people because it's just like, whoa, I saw this film. So that's always going to keep me in good. I think when people see this trailer, they go, I've never seen this before. And that's, that's the exciting bit because you're breaking new ground, you know? Well, what would this have meant to you as a, as a kid? Like, you know, you liked Spider-Man and, and Iron Man. And you, what would this have meant to you if you'd watched this as a kid? As this film? Yeah. Everything, because it's African characters. It's like, 
like my house is like mini Uganda. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's basically you seeing, you're basically seeing, it's an African blockbuster, how I see it. And you're just like, so I saw it and I was like, if I would have watched it, I would have gone. That's what I'm saying. There's a, there's a scene in Warrior Falls, and uh, it's when Black Panther comes back, and you're like, I, I got chills when Chad came out. I ge- like, I genuinely got, I wouldn't say it if I, I couldn't be bothered. I ain't got a publicist, so I don't really care. But. So, like, I, but I got chills, and I was like, ooh. And I was just like, it's just gonna, if you're a kid growing up, you're just gonna go, wow, like, this is stand. It's like, it would have, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it would have done, but it would have just been kind of really mind blowing. And I, but I still think it would be mind blowing now, as a 28 year old. It's not like. How are you finding the accent? Is it hard to do? It's long. Like, you have to stay on set with the accent, that's annoying. So you want to have real cool conversations with people and then you just to get a vowel wrong and then you just not even think about the conversation but you think about the flipping vowel that you've messed up on and you're like oh flip I need to do some work and then you just think about the work but um, yeah it's, it's, it's really important that it's, it was rooted in an African tribe you know and, uh, and the, there's a lot of also in this film and so everyone says a little bit so it's that kind of thing where like it's it feels real, it feels authentic. And he's cast a lot of actors from African descent, you know? So my parents are born there, Denise, Lapidus, do you know what I mean? So it's like everyone wanted to reach for that authenticity. Everybody always, I mean, there's a lot of business trends talking about uh, reaching into Africa for business and uh, new to new generation of businesses coming from Africa. Uh, and we've talked a lot to the other actors about how much it means culturally, but how much do you think this is going to mean to the business of film in Africa and, to the, and maybe to box offices and for, for African uh, people that's on continental Africa for this film? Do you think it's going to be like a, a, maybe a record or something for their box office? Or? I mean, it's an in- it's interesting question, that, because I, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time in Uganda because of family there. And I think that the hunger for film and stories is so... It's th- like it's, they're hungry, they're starving for stories and cinema in every way, especially with people that look like them. Um, but the infrastructure isn't there to tally up the way that China is and America is, do you know what I mean? But it doesn't mean it isn't as big. So within the structure of the, what the West considers success, there's still work to do. But that doesn't mean the stories aren't viral on pirate. Like, like, like everyone, there's people, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. And that's why, and it even says like Nollywood, like how big that is, shows. And I mean, the production values are really low, the budgets are really low, but it spreads. So seeing this could be, be but I think this, this story is an international story. It's a, it's a story about family, you know? It's about family. It's how many, how many white stories do we see and we, we identify with it. I love, I love Godfather. So why can't you have that in Africa? And that turns it, because it's a family story. It's about this family, about this thing, and it's about this country that has to be secret for, for their lives, do you know what I'm saying? So I feel that sh- that's an international truth, that's an international theme. And, um, and that's what I'm trying to say, it's really exciting, is that, that we're just using the African aesthetic and the African authenticity to portray those values and those themes. I assume you have to watch Captain America 3, in preparation for that movie? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I could say about that. It was an interesting framed question, though. It's going, like, but it, uh, yeah, that's it. I can't really say much. <laughs> they're tight, they're tight, they're tight, they're tight. Where Wakabi and T'Challa, they go way back, and T'Challa comes, comes back, and, um, and they've gone, you know, and he's his trusted advisor. Like, he's in this new step that T'Challa, this is an overwhelming step when you see it, it's like, got a whole cut like this is some serious stuff going down and it's in a massive transition you know and um like any country that's changing like any friendship no I don't know. that's what makes it friendship it's annoying <laughs> i have fights with my friends like flip why are you in my life <laughs> but that's life, like, do you know what I'm saying? And, and that, but that's interesting, that's conflict, this is film. 
it's all conflict. You can't even have a scene if it doesn't have conflict. So, um, and that, so that for me, it just feels truthful. Um, and they're just knocking heads about things like two, two adults would. Did you give any specific training to your character, any specific research to this character? What should we say about this? Yeah, I mean, like, I did a lot of horse training. <laughs> did a lot of stunt training, did a lot, uh, like, a lot of stunt training. A lot of fighting training. And then um, I'm trying to find Wakabi's fighting style. And then, uh, and then Ryan gave me to look at this tribe in Africa. Which tribe? This tribe, oh, flip, this is bad. But it's a tribe with blankets, where the blankets are hidden. And then he wanted that feeling of like, because you know, I'm the leader of the border tribe, so when you see Wakanda, because Wakanda's a secret, you don't want to show, you don't want to show what you're about. So you have wrapped in a blanket, so you can't even see these people's hands, but they're strapped, they're like armed with everything. And it's kind of like a like a kind of metaphor for what Wakanda's like. I mean, it's a secret, and there's all this stuff that's in there, you know. And and then, but so the first po first people you see are, are my tribe, and um, and, and yeah. You said that you like uh, Spider-Man when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Panther is a superhero. What's special? What do you think is different from all the other superheroes? What do I think is this special about Black Panther in comparison to all the other superheroes? Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say, I, don't, I, can't, I can't answer that in comparison. I can answer that in what I think is special about Black Panther. Because I don't want to tell it, oh, this, or this, 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 this. It's just felt, for me, it's like a... <sighs> empathy, he's an empathetic dude, man. And he's having to be, he's being called upon and he's, like anything, like you've been pushed into the front because of his blood, because of the lineage he has and the responsibility that he has. And then but he's this incredible fighter, this incredible spot, like, and he's the leader of this incredible country that's hidden. Do you know what I mean? And, and then they're like, what, what, what is this, it being hidden, what is it doing for us, you know? And, uh, and that conflict, that conflict I find really interesting and I think it's special. Because uh, I don't think I've ever seen it before. It told in an African story, you know, and it felt it feels truthful. Have you been sort of hidden away here filming while Get Out was released into theaters? Yes. So are you are you aware that your anonymity is gone forever now? I don't think I know. <laughs> oh. So I have not. I don't think I have any idea. But you haven't actually been out. Not really. I've been out. I go Whole Foods now. <laughs> And then, like, I go, everyone's asking for a picture. I'm like, okay, I don't know why the staff are taking off their uniform to, to take a picture of me. So it's just like, it's just like, I was just like, huh. So I don't, I don't think I know. I don't think I know. I don't think I have any idea. I think I, I, I went, because I went out to do press for it. That was before it came out. And I snuck in in Atlanta, cinema here with my, and then I, I snuck in there and then I watched it in a cinema. I was like, okay, this is a thing. I was like, cool. And I just keep on just <laughs> my friends every day just send me like loads of memes, like new memes, a new meme every day. Like, and I go, but you don't know because it's online. You have no idea. You, like, I don't know. I haven't. So I've been here. I've been here working. So I have no kind of. Yeah. So basically, tomorrow I'm gonna find out. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel about the success? It's an amazing film. How do I feel about the success? Yeah. Yeah, I need to leave, leave my estate. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, how do I feel about the success? I mean, I feel I'm happy for Jordan, man. Like, I'm deeply happy for him, man. And I'm maybe happy he got made the film that he wanted with the people that he wanted to. And he's just, and I'm happy that that method works because it's a quite pure method. It's like basically a filmmaker going, "This is what I believe. This is who I want to go on to war with." And it's worked out for him. I mean, because he loves story, and loves film, and he's got something to say. So hopefully, more people will be given that opportunity and the license to do that. And, uh, and I just love the film. So it's kind of like really, I mean, if the success kind of has nothing to do with me, it's just what happens is, is just people take it and you just, you just give your all. And then, and then people take it and they take it what they want. So I'm happy that people wanted to take it. You know what I mean? Last question. 
when we talk about the success of the film, um, you know, people know who you are now. Have you started to be getting bigger offers or offers for bigger projects? It's changed, yeah. yeah my it's phone's different. <laughs> <laughs> like, my phone's different. I was like, look at this phone, like... It's, it's like some stuff comes out. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, there's different conversations. Like, it's a different phone. Um, uh, yeah, it's changed. I had like a FaceTime with this director. I was like, huh, okay. You know who I am. Uh, it's, just, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, you feel something is changed. But then that's another thing. I'm not really going to change what I'm doing. The reason why, the reason why I did get out is because I was doing what I was doing. Why would I change what I'm doing? That doesn't make sense. So I'm going to keep doing that. I don't feel like I should do more. No, I'm just going to keep doing stuff I believe in. If, if Get Out bombed, I believed in it. it. It just happened to do well. Do you know what I mean? I, I, just, I believe in Jordan as a filmmaker and I believe what it was trying to say. I believe in Black Panther as a film and what it's trying to say. I believe in Ryan as a filmmaker. I believe in anyone that I choose to do moving forward. I believe in what they want to say and believe who they are. And then that's it. And I just keep it moving. And I'm just helping them tell a story, you know? And that's it, so I'll just kind of roll out there. Are you ready to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for a longer period of time? Or? Am I ready for it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm ready for everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.